Hello, I'm here to talk to you today about focus breathing. Apparently, some people think this is something important to talk about. See, focus breathing only matters when you're focusing close with a zoom lens. Take this one for example. It's an 80 200. It's a great lens for portraiture. Now, at 200 millimeters, it's not quite 200 millimeters. It doesn't have some of the issues that other Nikkor lenses uh, and other brands have, but it's not quite 200 millimeters. So how do you fix that? Well, some other channels have decided that you should get extension tubes, and they've placed affiliate links for you to buy those extension tubes. Well, the reality is that when you use a zoom lens for portraiture, there are specific situations you should be using a zoom lens. If you're out in the field, if you're doing a wedding, if you're doing an event, portraiture totally makes sense on a zoom lens. And then you're going to be, you know, okay with what that is. I have seen the people who seem to think that you need an extension tube and a zoom lens for portraiture doing portraiture in a studio situation with a zoom lens on a tripod. I have a lot of things to say about that, and everybody has their own style. They talked about at one point switching to Nikon, but because all of the 70-200s or 80-200s for Nikon have focus breathing at that time, uh, the new one doesn't have as much, um, but it was really bad on some of the other 70-200s, because of that, they didn't switch over to Nikon, even though they liked the cameras better. Um, that doesn't make any sense. They're in a studio situation. Sure, maybe they want to be able to quickly move from 70 millimeters to 200 millimeters in different framings while they're on a tripod. I don't understand that concept at all. Zoom lenses, generally speaking, do you need them in the studio? I'm going to show you another lens. This is an old, old AIS Nikkor 200mm lens. There's no focus breathing. You know how I know? One, it moves. It's not internal focus. So it's, it's, it's not going to have any focus breathing. And two, it's not a zoom lens. It's 200 millimeters all the way through. So, and there are tons of options for this. If all you can afford are a couple of zoom lenses, you're probably not doing the kind of work that really requires um, the zoom lenses. <laughs> That's just the truth. Um, get primes. If you're going to be working in a studio, where you can switch, where you can bring two cameras with you. You can go back and forth between two cameras. You can have a 200 millimeter on one, 135 millimeter on one. Bring a third camera, have an 85 on another one. You can use more than one camera, more than one lens. Use primes. I don't understand the big deal with focus breathing when zoom lenses, zoom lenses are legitimately for certain situations. They're not for every situation. And when you're in a studio doing headshots, that's not the time that you need a zoom lens. Do you need your camera on a tripod in order to do portrait work? I don't. I've done almost 100 people's headshots in the past two months. That's not a ton. There are other people who work more than I do. But I use 100 millimeter. It's on one of my cameras right now. It's on that one right there. It makes great images. Sometimes I use an 85 millimeter, depending on where I am. If I'm outside in the field, and I don't know what I'm going to get into, I might bring, I might bring the zoom lens, but I might not because I have these cool manual lenses. And when I'm shooting portraiture, when it's not an event, when it doesn't have to be fast, not that, you know, 
autofocus is necessarily all that much faster all the time. But when it doesn't have to be crazy fast, I just use these old lenses that do great work and manual focus. But look at the difference. If I'm going somewhere and I have a choice, I can bring this to get 70 to 200 millimeters. This weighs a lot. It's not light. Okay? This is a decently heavy lens. Okay? But I have this. I have a 135, same concept. Um, I have 85 millimeters. I have 50 millimeters. I have the full range of prime lenses. So if I know where I'm going to be, if I know what I'm going to be shooting, if you're in your own studio, there's no reason for a zoom lens. There just isn't. If you want that 200 millimeter look, use a 200 millimeter lens. And then if you need to get wider, use a different lens. It's not that hard. It doesn't take that long to switch unless you really don't know what you're doing, which is really what I feel like when people talk about focus breathing for portraiture. The reality is that at 30 feet, 30 feet, 30 feet, this lens no longer is focus breathing. And that at 200 millimeters, 30 feet, is about a full body shot. So, do I want to do portrait work with this lens? No. And you shouldn't either. It's ridiculous that people are talking about this in order to sell you extension tubes. Get a prime lens. This one, I think I got this for $60 on eBay. It makes spectacular images. They're beautiful. Look, you can get the brand new 70 to 200 for thousands of dollars. Okay? I have a 135 and a 200 prime lens, AIS, manual focus. Yes, you'll have to learn to manual focus. You'll be okay. I have those two, and I'm pretty much covered, plus my 100 millimeter that's on there. Uh, that's an autofocus. Um, Tokina 100mm f2.8 um, macro. There's really nothing else, and I have an 85mm. There's nothing else I need, and legitimately, if I take those four lenses, probably weigh about the same as that one. I mean, this is insanely lighter. The 135 is lighter than this one and smaller than this one. There's, this is for specific things. And a lot of those things, you don't care about focus breathing. Actually, all of those things, you don't care about focus breathing. You care about getting a shot. You care that it's giving you good quality images. You're not as worried about because you're when you're out at 200 with this a lot of this kind of lens a lot of times you're shooting sports you're shooting a whole body it's a ridiculous concept that people are telling you to worry about focus breathing it's not an issue it's not a problem it's not something you should be worried about if you want to worry about something worry about getting the best lenses possible for exactly what you're doing Think about what you're going to be doing and get the best lens for that. Do not get a zoom lens if you're going to be doing studio portrait work. There's no reason for it. You should have zoom lenses so you can do other work. You should have zoom lenses so that if somebody wants a full body shot, when you're generally set up for a, for a headshot, then you can pop on the zoom lens and zoom out a little bit and you're good to go. Think about what you want to do with your photography before you go and buy extension tubes to fix the focus breathing on your 70-200. to 200.
It's the most ridiculous concept I've ever heard. Buy primes. Don't buy extension tubes. It's that simple. That's how you fix focus breathing. Buy prime lenses. If you're worried about what your 70 to 200 millimeter lens is doing eight feet away from you, get a prime lens. That simple. I can go outside right now with this and get a better, better shot. This is actually really good, so if you want to get one, it's the 80 to 200, 2.8, beautiful. This is actually 200 millimeter f4, which is great for outdoors. 200 millimeters, f4 is phenomenal. I'm Brian Waddell. This has been stupid stuff I saw on the internet last week. Thank you.